tax havens offer the chance to hide money easily and quickly in entities like foundations or companies that only exist on paper. A straw man or woman function as their titular owners, hiding the real owners. Everything is top secret. Until, in 2017, the Panama Papers exposed it all to the bright light of day, giving the public an idea of the scale of the problem. Celebrities like soccer star Lionel Messi or Iceland's Prime Minister Sigmundur David Gunnlaugsson were among those exposed. A wave of outrage followed, and politicians promised to get tough. The EU says the mere threat of a blacklisting was enough to put minds to work. We have seen that this list has uh, encouraged countries worldwide to improve their tax good governance standards and uh, strengthen the fight against uh, tax abuse. Uh, to date, uh, tax systems of 95 countries have been examined and uh, most of them now comply with our good governance standards. Apart from countries like the Cayman Islands, that is. Until now, British influence has shielded its overseas territory. Brexit has changed that. Blacklisting the Caymans is being interpreted as an EU warning. There are fears that following Brexit, Britain could become a gigantic tax haven on Europe's doorstep. The City of London already offers several advantages in this respect. And the Caymans aren't the only tax haven being protected by Britain. <laughs>